Hey guys, it's Wynnu. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today is super exciting. I know I always say that in every single one of my videos, but I am really excited for this one because I will be putting together my bridesmaid proposal boxes. I cannot wait to give my girls their gifts. By the time this video goes live, they would have already received their gifts, so it won't be a spoiler or anything like that. I think this will be really helpful, especially if you are a bride and you're trying to figure out what you want to put in your proposal boxes for your bridesmaids so if you're interested then please keep on watching all right so before we get into the video i do want to talk to you guys a little bit about anna louisa they are sponsoring this portion of the video and if you guys don't know anna louisa is a sustainable jewelry company based out of new york city and i love all their pieces they use 100 recycled gold and sterling silver which is amazing they're also carbon and water neutral which means that they offset 100 of their carbon and water footprint so all around they are such a great company they not only care about the environment but also the quality of their pieces and sometimes high-end jewelry means a high price tag but not with Ana Luisa all their pieces start at just $39 they're so confident that they have a one-year warranty on all their jewelry which is awesome and right now they do have a really great promotion going on for Black Friday it's buy one get one 60% off there's no code needed everything will be applied at the checkout page so definitely hop on their website and see if you want to buy anything for yourself or for a loved one Christmas is right around the corner so this is definitely the time to start thinking about gifts and this month they sent me a few pieces so I have a few rings on my hand right now on my left hand is just my engagement ring and then on my right hand I am all stacked with Ana Luisa rings I've been loving rings lately I don't know if it's because I just got engaged so I'm wearing a lot of rings these days but I've been loving stacking my fingers with multiple different sizes and styles of rings so this is my go-to combo lately. I have on the rope slim ring on my thumb. This one's actually adjustable. So I love adjustable rings because I can wear it on practically every single finger, even my pinky. So I love that this ring is so versatile and it's a very dainty rope design, which I love. I think it's so pretty. And then I have on the Chloe rope ring right here. This one is a thicker woven ring. And then these two, I love wearing them together. This one on top is called the Haley ring. It's these two stones. And then on the bottom, it's just your basic gold band. And I love them together because they are so dainty. I think they look really beautiful all on my hand like this. So this is my go-to set lately. I love these and I would definitely recommend buying these as a set because they look so good on your hand. And then the next piece is these earrings right here. These are called the Latitude Hoop Earrings and I love small hoops. I think they are really pretty and they spice up any outfit without looking like you're trying too hard. Just like right now where I have on just a plain casual sweatshirt, I have all these jewelry on my hand and on my earrings. It makes it look like I kind of tried but not really. But I kind of did <laughs> so I love these because they are extremely lightweight and they have this vintage look to them which I love so I've been loving these lately and I do actually have one more thing to show you guys this will actually be in my bridesmaid proposal boxes so I bought each one of my bridesmaid their own jewelry case from Ana Luisa this is so stunning and it's in this dark green velvet color this is so pretty. I had to get myself one too and I even bought a few more as Christmas gifts because they're having such a great deal going on right now and I think anyone would love to receive one of these to store their jewelry. So I picked out this because this is actually going to be my wedding color. It's going to be a very uh, rich dark green because we are getting married in the early December month and that's you know around the holiday season, very festive so I thought green would be perfect and I've just been really loving green lately first of all the quality is amazing on this the zipper is nice and smooth and when you open it you have a bunch of different compartments here you have this middle slot for a bunch of your rings and then two compartments on the side of that at the top you have a few hooks for necklaces and pendants and even this little elastic pouch right here so if you have any larger pendants you can put them in here but I thought this would be perfect for my bridesmaids to keep all of their jewelry in and they can bring it with them on the day of the wedding and just keep everything organized. So I'm excited for them to each have one of these. So that will be the first thing that will go in their boxes. And then next we have some small knickknacks. So I found these on Etsy. Um, I found this candle 
and it's really cute. It has this leaf design on it and you can put anything on the front. I decided to put their name on here, but you can also put Maid of Honor or Bridesmaid. And they also have a few different scents that you can choose from. I chose the lavender scent and it smells so amazing. So I'm excited to put this in their box. And I believe they have two different sizes. This one is the smallest one. It's the two ounce size. It's also a four ounce as well. I was debating on getting that one, but I have a lot of things that I want to put in their boxes. So I'd rather just go with small little knickknacks like this. And this is perfect. So if you're wondering which size to get, this one is what the two ounce looks like. And I think it's perfect. So that will be the candle. And then next to go with that candle, I also purchased these from Etsy. These are small matchsticks and I just have the white color and I tied a little rustic bow on there like that. They have a bunch of different colors on Etsy and I just thought this would be really cute just as a pair together. And yeah, so that's that. And then I also bought this set of Laneige lip balm on Sephora's website. So they have a few different flavors and I'm just going to put one in each of their boxes. I'll just choose whatever one that I think best matches their personality. So something fun for them to have and it will be a December wedding like I said. So chapstick will come in handy for sure. Um, so yeah, I actually got another box for myself too because it's a good deal. It's $18 and the Sephora sale is going on right now. So there's even more savings on top of that for this set. So it's a really great if you are one about Laneige lip mask and you want to just try out a few different flavors or just get them as gifts I think this is a great set all right next I ordered a bunch of different swatches on a website called Azazi they are a website that you can buy bridesmaid dresses from and I actually have a few dresses from their website because I was a bridesmaid in a few of my friends weddings and so I decided to get a few swatches I wanted to put a swatch in their boxes so that will let them know what color I'm envisioning for them to wear on the big day I don't actually know if I want the dresses to come from this website I'm still browsing around keeping my options open Open, but I'm not really sure yet. They have a bunch of different color options and styles to choose from. So if you are a bride or a bridesmaid, I would definitely check out their website if you're trying to figure out which dress you want your bridesmaids to wear on the wedding day. So I knew I wanted dark green to be my wedding color. I was debating on three shades from this website. It was either dark green, eucalyptus, or pine. And I decided it was going to be between eucalyptus or pine because I just felt like this green might blend in with all the greenery at the venue so I opted out for this one but these two are so pretty it was almost a tie on Instagram and I decided that I'm gonna go with the pine color because it's around December season and I think a dark green would be really nice and rich this one almost borderline looks blue when it's compared to green. So I'm not 100% sure if I want to get it from this website or not. That's why I'm still debating, but this is such a pretty green too. I think this would be a great all year round, would be perfect for spring, summer, fall, winter, whatnot. So I will be putting this swatch in their box, just fold it up like this. And then next I have these cards that I got from Amazon. These were really affordable. They were only, I think $10 for a pack. And they have one that says, will you be my maid of honor and my bridesmaid? So this is what they look like. And they just have these green leaves. I thought that would be perfect. It goes well with my theme and colors. So I will be writing something in here and just popping this in their boxes. So that's that. And then this one, okay, so I have these line art that I created myself. I think they turned out so beautiful. And how I made them was that I put a picture of me and each one of my bridesmaids into Pixar. It's a free photo editing app. And then I created the line art in there. Then I put it into Canva, which is a free editing website. So I make all of my thumbnails on Canva, by the way. And so I added these watercolors. And I just selected the color that I thought would best match their personality and it turned out so pretty and they were so affordable i only paid for the prints i just printed them on regular printer paper from costco and 
these were only like four dollars for all six so i thought that was such a great deal i actually got the idea from one of my friends lynn on youtube she's also engaged so she's going to get married soon as well i'm so excited for her and she uploaded her bridesmaid proposal boxes and i watched it and she went with this really cool faceless prints that she ordered from a local artist around her town and I thought that was such a unique idea and I was going to copy her but I decided to think of a way that I could recreate something like that and do it myself so I'm so happy that I was able to make this my so I am so thrilled that I was able to make this myself and just give my bridesmaid something that was a little bit more special I would have never thought to do this. So thank you Lynn for giving me the idea and then the very last thing is This gift. This is going to be for my maid of honor my cousin I wanted to give her something extra just so that she feels special and appreciated so she really loves Christmas ornaments I think she buys a new one every year and this is the one that I got made for her. I found this Etsy seller and she makes beautiful Christmas ornaments and I asked her if she could put Maid of Honor on it and I just sent her a photo of us and this is how it came out. So let me put this in front of one of the swatches so you can see it a little bit better. But that's what it looks like and I was able to choose a color option so there's just a swap of color on each of our outfits and just says made of honor down here i think that is so precious and pretty and i think she's going to love it so yeah perfect time because it's november right now she can hang this on her tree in december so i'm happy to give this to her okay i almost forgot i have one more thing to put in their boxes i will be adding these pajamas in each one of their boxes that comes with this top and then these shorts that look like this. I got these on Victoria's Secrets website. And when I saw these, I immediately knew I had to buy these for my girls because they're in this beautiful sage green color. And I think I might have them wear this on the big day as they're getting ready, you know, being really comfy. These are so extremely comfortable, you guys. I wish you could feel these. They're made out of moto and they're just so soft i'm excited to give them these and i had to get myself a pair too because they're so comfortable so now we can all match um i don't think i'll be wearing these as i'm getting ready i'll probably be wearing white or something like that so yeah they will be each getting a pair of pajamas and that's pretty much everything that i will be including in their boxes i did buy a few things to kind of decorate the boxes like this huge bag of crinkled paper so I'll be putting a bunch of these in the boxes and then I ordered a few brown name tags like that I'll be writing their names and then just putting that on top of the boxes I ordered a big ball of this yarn it's like this rustic string and I'm just gonna be using this to tie their boxes together and I also went to Michael's and I bought a few of these dried plants. So we have some bunny tails and things like that. So I just thought that'd be fun to just add in their boxes to kind of spice it up a little bit and make it look more aesthetic. And I'm so excited. So I actually have a box that I just put together right now and I wanted to show you what it looks like. I'll be unboxing this on camera with you guys so you can see exactly what it looks like on the inside. This box is stuffed, you guys. I tried my best to shove the pajamas, the jewelry box and everything in here and it is completely stuffed and it, I mean, I made it work. On the top, it looks like this. I know I have to cut this little string here, but this is what it looks like. We have the strings tied. I tied it multiple different times so that it looks kind of unique. And then it's just a bow right in the center. I put a little bit of those dried leaves on top and then a name tag. I just have one of their names right here. But I thought that was really pretty neutral, simple, a touch of rustic and boho, my vibe, and so cute. So I'll be unboxing this, but I'll wrap it up again once it's finished. Ooh, I'm so excited for them to open these boxes. Ugh, can't wait to give it to them. Okay, so. Luckily, I don't have to mail any of their boxes. They are all local except for one girl, but she'll be in town actually this week. So I'll be giving her a box in person as well. 
And oh yeah, the box itself, I bought it on Amazon. They came in a pack and it was really affordable too. I believe this is the, I think it was the nine by nine size and it's great. I mean, I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I couldn't find any that was the perfect size that I wanted without being too expensive. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on these boxes because I'd rather spend more money on their gifts instead. So I went with these plain brown ones and I think they work perfectly great. I think they're actually supposed to be cake boxes, but I see a lot of people use these for bridesmaid boxes too. All right, so when she opens them, she'll see her line art right here. I wanted to put this here because I wanted them to see it right away and I hot glued a few of those dried leaves. All right, I'm trying my best to show you guys this without having everything fall out, but I just have their card that says, will you be my bridesmaid? I decided to take it out of its envelope and just plop it on top like that because I want them to read it and actually see, you know, will you be my bridesmaid? So I just have it outside of the envelope and just on top like that. Really pretty. So on the inside, this is how I laid everything out. I have the velvet jewelry box right here. And then I have a bunch of crinkled paper and I have the swatch. I added these little like more dry leaves here. The swatch of the dress is folded right here. And then the small knickknacks on the bottom, we have the uh, candle, the, the Laneige lip balm in that corner, and then the matchsticks in the other corner. So this is what it's looking like so far. Hope you can see that. Really pretty. And you're probably wondering where the pajamas are. <laughs> so I try my best, but I couldn't really fold it in a way where they can see it right away. And I actually have it on the very bottom of the box, pushed all the way down, and then I put a bunch of crinkle paper on top. So it's kind of like a little surprise. They're gonna open it and they're gonna just see all this beauty and they're going to take one thing out after the other and then they'll see the pajamas. So here, I'll show you. If you remove this jewelry box right here, you'll see something green at the bottom and then they will see that there's something else at the bottom and then they'll take it out. I don't wanna take it out right now because they'll just ruin everything. So the pajamas are folded at the very bottom of the box and that was the only way that I could make it work without compromising the aesthetics of the box. So I thought it was a really good idea and it turned out really nice. So yeah, that's my proposal box. I cannot wait to give this to my friend. All right, so that's gonna be the end of my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I really had a lot of fun filming this for you guys. I cannot wait to get started on all the other boxes and give this to them next weekend. I cannot wait. I have a lot of fun wedding content coming up next, touring venues, trying on dresses. So definitely stay tuned. I hope that you all are having a great holiday season and I will just see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye guys. Never in a million years